Okay, let's talk about pest monitoring. Uh, just like in uh, the inspection process, you need to have a good mirror, a good flashlight, uh, and these little extension mirrors work really well for getting in tight places and up behind things. Uh, a big mirror like this extension mirror works well for getting it up into high places where you may have uh, pest populations living. It just helps you be able to look in different places. This mirror also works really well for underneath things, uh, underneath pieces of equipment or underneath counter edges, uh, cabinets like we're looking here up underneath the bottom edge of the cabinets uh, to look for pest signs. Also, you need monitors. Uh, this happens to be one type of monitoring device. Make sure whenever you place a monitor in an environment uh, that you date it and put your initials on it so we know who, who uh, put that monitor out. It also helps you if you have a little map to where you can identify where your monitors were just in case they get swept away or moved. Another type of monitoring device, this is a little bit different shape, um, but the same thing. You want to make sure that you put your, your date, uh, the month, the initials of the person applying it, and uh, make sure that you put this in a place where it's out of the way, but uh, it will monitor the pests. Now, make sure you put it up against something, like I'm showing here on this baseboard. Uh, there's different types of monitors as you can see in these. We have pheromone monitors, we have regular sticky monitors, different types of sticky monitors with bait attractants, and then you have a monitor for termites. This one is uh, with the Centricon system, and what it is is two pieces of wood that go in the bait station, the bait station goes in the ground. There's also a monitoring device that they use around the university for checking for pest uh, termite populations. And it's just a stick, a pine stick that they drive into the ground uh, and the termites will get into it and they cause damage. It's very typical for subterranean termites. When you look at this piece of wood, you can see the damage runs with the grain. Subterranean termites always eat within the grain the length of the pieces of wood. And you just see they've done quite a number on this piece of wood.